Hi, thanks for watching. If you find this video entertaining and or knowledgeable, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about hooking up a keyboard and mouse from a 2009 iMac to a brand new Mac Mini 2021. But before I do that, I want to give a shout out to Amy for getting me this awesome Bigfoot shirt. She enjoyed my Bigfoot videos. And if you want to check them out, they're on my channel. So the first thing you're going to need after you get your Mac Mini is a mouse with a USB cable on it. Because you're going to need this to answer the questions. I did this right out of the box. I hooked up my Mac Mini to my monitor and put this in. And it asked me what language I wanted. it. And I think about three or four questions in it asked for the keyboard setup. And you just press on that. And it did take about 15 minutes to get this thing hooked up. It didn't recognize it the first time. Then it did the second time. One thing you have to remember, obviously, is make sure your keyboard's on, fresh batteries in it, and your old iMac is off because they will be fighting for this keyboard. <laughs> and then I did the mouse, and this took about 12 minutes. I didn't think it was going to work at first, but it did. I'm so happy about that because I saved about $175. I was very excited about that. Now, I was going to go with a 27 inch brand new 2021 iMac. But I realized that's like limiting my options. I'm going to be stuck with a 27-inch screen for the next 12 years. Because that's how about, about how long these things last. So I, my thought was, bigger is better. And now I have a 43-inch monitor. And with the money that I saved from the keyboard, not buying a new keyboard and mouse, I put it into the monitor, and I'm still $100 less than what I would have bought a new iMac for. So you're definitely going to save a lot of money that way. So there it is. In this case, size does matter. Baby Bigfoot. Big Bigfoot. I don't think I'm ever going to go back to a smaller screen again. This is a 21 inch. Like I said, I was going to upgrade to a 27, which would probably be only about that much more. Eh. Great thing about a Mac Mini is that you can get any screen that you want. If you wanted to get a 32, 43, 55, 65, you can get any one you want. And I would recommend not buying a TV as a monitor because I heard the pixels are different. But with a monitor, you can still hook up your Netflix if you wanted to, or Pluto or whatever other stations you want to get and you just hook it up to the back which I'm going to do today so I'm very excited about my purchase I wanted to share with you and again the whole purpose of this video was to let everybody know that you can hook up an old keyboard to a new Mac Mini from any iMac that you have all the way down to 2009 I'm assuming you can do it with a 2008 or 2007 I'm not even sure but I know from 2009 pretty much on you're going to be all set to hook it up to the Mac Mini and save yourself a lot of money. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.